Hello guys, this is Al from Open Source Channel. Welcome again to a new episode on how to. Don't forget to hit subscribe and the bell icon so you can get notified when I publish a new video. And also don't forget to like and share. By sharing, I will be able to create more content for you. Now, without any delay, let's start the tutorial. All right, guys, so uh, as you would seen from the title, I'm going to show you the best plugin I think that I have found to have the chat icon and the chat service on your website. So I got here the dashboard for my WordPress for the tutorial. And without any delay, let's go to the plugin and add new. So let me show you. This is a plugin called 3CX. Now, 3CX are quite famous for uh, IP phones or IP services. So all you got to do is type 3CX while it's doing that. We got two available plugins. We want the live chat. So I'm going to click install now. By the way, don't forget to check my other video on Talk2. There's another plugin. This one, the difference of the other one, everything is hosted on your website. Of course, also with this one, you can actually expand and have the 3CX cloud take care of it. But we're going to choose the one that you host yourself. So I'm going to click activate. So while activating, don't forget, don't forget, you, know, you can go to their website, 3CX. Well, it looks like it's no internet again. So yeah, you can go to the 3CX website so you can see the services they actually provide. As I said, they're quite uh, famous for the PBX. Again, you can actually install, believe it or not, your own PBX on a Raspberry Pi 4 or, of course, on your server as well. Perhaps one day I'm going to show you how to install the free version. A lot of things are free and you can actually have as well, as you can see, uh, the actual 3CX full-blown for one year for free. Now, without any delay, let's go back to the installation and this is the first part of the installation as i said you can actually go and have them doing it but yeah what we're going to do is we're going to do it ourselves on our wordpress so yeah you are going to log in on wordpress to answer the chats so it's next we're going to create our first agent And I'm going to call it Agent 1. I'm going to do this way here. Uh, agent 1. And we're going to have the email. So that's the agent. I'm going to press Next. Now this one is how it looks like is the actual style itself you can do it now or you can do it later on now the beauty with this uh plugins the powered by 3cx as i'm going to show you later on can also be removed me personally i don't mind to have that i mean again it's free service you know doesn't mind i don't mind to give a little bit of advertising to the company but again just to show you how quick it is you can just go to the base color that is the top you can have any color you want the one i'm using today has a green kind of uh, theme so i'm gonna do all green different type of green though there we go i'm going to go and finish i'm gonna leave the rest as it is and now it should be in no time the installation done there we go i'm going to start now as soon as you start the online as you can see on top and one agent available is already 
live. So I'm going to say start now. And I'm going to show you the actual panel and comes with. Now this is the dashboard of the live chat, as you can see here. There are no chat available. We're going to use a this uh, incognito so you won't see it. As you can see here, we got the icon already appearing. Okay. And I'm going to show you how to change that as well. Then we got the dashboard. And here we got some statistics, agent one and no active users. Before I go to the settings, I'm going to go from the bottom up. I'm going to the support. This is the support for you that have the website. If you have any issues with the plugins and that's where you get everything under one roof. Everything is within your website. So this is for you, not for your customers. Then we got tools. And for the tools, you can create uh, departments, you can create data management, you can create custom fields, quick responses, and you can create web hooks if you want to attach to other services. I'm going to create a new department. So I don't have to come back here later on and I'm going to call it sales. And as you will know, you can create as many departments you really want. Okay. So the department has been saved. Let's go back to tools. We got here the chat settings, chat history, ratings, and offline messages. Here you can actually import and export. You can import the settings or you can export the settings and you can export the rest if you need it to. Again, here you can actually add new custom fields for your um, chat. For example, here, if you want anything extra. At the moment, I think it comes as name and emails. Uh, we'll have a look in a minute as well. But anyway, we got this one here. Back on tools. And we got quick responses if you want the automated responses. Now let's go back to the offline messages. So what happened is, as you can see here, for example, the chat is live. But if you go offline, for example, let's wait until it goes offline. As you can see now, it's offline. Now if I refresh the page here, that should change when I click the icon. Again, even the icon can easily be changed and I'm going to show you in a minute as well. So as you can see, now I'm going to click it. And as you can see here, you can just leave the message. That message will be displayed here. Let me show you what I'm talking about. And I'm going to say hello. And I'm going to send it. And as you can see, the message has been sent. Close. Let's go back to the other one. I'm going to refresh the page, of course, otherwise it won't show it. And it should show the date, the name of the person, the email, the message. And of course, you can actually delete if you wanted to once you read it. Here are the chat history. So all the history of your chats will be shown here. There we go. Here you can have actions and filters just in case you want to find it. This is very important for your GDPR that I'm going to show you how to uh, add it, enable it in the settings. And now we go straight to the settings. This is the most uh, important part of the uh, plugin and this is what you get, got to do first. In the settings you can get everything done here. Everything is in your left pane here, all the informations. 
chat enable you can actually disable now if i'm going to go back online so you can actually see here let's have a look here and so we are online control f5 command f5 as well you are on mac and now when the actual icon comes as you can see it says name and email now if you want just the name that's possible just click on the name here and if you want just email you just put emails and of course you can say no field as well if you wanted to that's up to you don't forget once you've done it to save the settings all right now the next one is uh, use logged in the user details if they're logged in all right enable on mobile devices or you can disable it that's up to you you can play the sounds the sounds of course can be changed as well uh, I think it's on the next part uh, this is very important just in case you want to delete the plugins you are not happy with it don't forget to make sure that this is is clicked so all the details in the database will be removed as well you can have chat notifications I always gonna leave that one on and again you can exclude the icon on any pages on every pages is up to you where you want it you can actually granularly uh, choose where you want it to use it okay so detect visitor country again to do so you need to install another plugin it's a free plugin and of course you need to download the max mind uh, information okay but bear in mind you need a good server if you if you are on a shared server be careful some shared server you know it might be overwhelming so you might have some kind of errors here you can actually see the powered by the one i showed you earlier on you can disable if you wanted to i don't mind to show that it's been powered by 3cx in this case so i'm going to leave it on but that is up to you enable the chat transcript again if you enable it so what happens the sun, uh, the transcript can be sent automatically at the end of the chat if you remove it the actual user can actually ask for it i like to leave it on so they receive it and the transcript is sent to the user of course you can send to the admin as well as up to you here is the uh, email body all right again you can modify that as you wish the header and the footer of the actual emails so let's go to the chat box again this is what we've seen earlier on this is the part we've seen it for the colors i think uh well it looks like it's not I, I thought it was this page but it looks like it's not so it will be next one here is about where you want to show it at the moment as you see it earlier on is on bottom uh, right you can go to bottom left and left and right it's up to you this is the actual size and the automatic chat pop pop up i don't like to have the pop up some people got the pop up uh, blocker so you might have problems again where you wanted to show it in mobile browsers desktop browsers and so on and so forth so now we got the show the agent name uh, again once the agent is going to talk you will have the name on top and i'm going to show you in a minute here you can have the icons you can use one of the icons here as you can see here we got this one i'm going to choose this one here for now and i'm going to save it once it's been saved we're going to switch it we're going to refresh it and i'm going to show you that the actual icon has been changed it should take long sorry i didn't see that one is on the left here because logically we saved it and i said bottom left bottom right there i was waiting that on the right side but it's on the left side but there we go now we know it is on the left i already put it back on the right it's easy for me to look at it so let's go back to the uh, dashboard here again as you can see that has been changed now you got the incoming chat ringtone you can listen 
if you want to is default or you can choose one of those options the beauty with this you can actually upload your own png icon as long as 50 by 50 and also the logo 250 by 40 pixels all right the chat button delays is about two seconds and you can also add your Facebook and Twitter URL if you want for your social share files if you want them to upload files so on and so forth and again the experience ratings at the end of the chat they got the option to rate you how your service was go back again we got the offline message you can disable it or leave it unchecked for enabling and here are this information again you change as you wish the styling is the color that I thought was going to be later on, but again, we got the two colors that we chosen later on. We have these options. Again, you can change to whatever you want. Let's do a different kind of greenish. And let me make this one even brighter. You can have the bubble. Localization again, as I took you all around. If you want to put the localization of the people, you got to the load of the... Uh, the plugin again you can have the chat box animation slide up side from side fit in whatever at the moment it's set as no animation and here is the auto response to the first message so what that actually means is as soon they write the first message you can actually auto respond to that you can say something like for example we'll be right with you as soon as we can for example now we go to go to the agent we got the one agent that we created the installation and you can add other agents as well here you can block visitors by the IP addresses it's going to be one IP each line here you can actually encrypt everything but make sure you understand before you do so once it's been encrypted cannot be decrypted anymore if you disable it and once you change the key for example the all the messages all the previous messages will be lost okay make sure you know what you're doing the operating hours the departments again we got no department and we're going to put it the sales the one i automatically done earlier on again every time you make the changes don't forget to save advanced features we got the standalone as we seen earlier on again you can go back and change it make sure that you put the url that you can get from the 3cx website we got this standalone so we're going to leave it now privacy is very important for example for from people from europe you go to the gdpr ready and you got to click this and you want to make sure this is available and then you got the gutenberg blocks if you use the gutenberg and you don't use anything else and you want to put short codes for example as you can see here so again that's been done and as you can see it now what i'm going to do i'm going to simulate a live chat for you so you can actually see it now let me refresh this i don't know if i save this on the right one or it's still on the left side there we go we got that on the right side so no active chat so i'm gonna initiate the chat so you can see it i'm gonna click it i'm gonna put my email and i'm going to go and press chat now the name of the agent should be on top once it's been done it should be agent one so i'm gonna click on chat and as you can see support tap your message here I'm going to send and if I go back to the I want to allow that let's remove that and as you can see the guests is here and I am chatting so I'm going to join the chat he says hello and it says how can I help you now and I'm going to send it and of course the actual chat just went on the other side as you can see here so guys thanks again for joining me for this tutorial i hope you enjoyed it as much as i did making it and don't forget to like subscribe and i'll see you next week for a new tutorial